Hello everyone, thank you for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a damaged screen for any QB Photo Mono. First, we test the screen and see whether the masking is malfunction or not. So basically, we just use a tool and then shine the light and see whether the masking is working or not. As you can see, the right side of the masking is damaged, so we need to replace it. This is a brand new replacement screen that I got from Chi2 System, which is the maker of Chi2 Box. Uh, the price of it is $40 with free shipping. If you get an official one from anycubit.com, it would be $70. So this is almost like half the price. And uh, comparing to buying a new photo mono, it would be $160 during the holidays. Uh, this is actually a good option for you to replace because it's much cheaper. It comes with tape to seal the screen for replacement and then it also includes basically a brand new mono LCD screen. First of all, we need to remove the tape. Just take it out. You know, you have a new one to replace it, so don't just remove it. Don't worry about of the reuse of it. And then wipe it clean the edge of it. The next, we need to unscrew the bottom cover and then we can remove the power cable. Remove the LCD connector and the screen. Remove the glass plate from the old screen. and then wipe it clean with a lens wipe. Insert the clean glass plate back to the top. During the installation of the new screen, make sure it is inserted in the right direction. Insert the new screen. This is what it should look like in the back. This is a 10 inch screen protector I got from Amazon. It's $7 for three packs. So one pack is basic around $2. You can cut one pack into two for mono screen. So basically around $1 per screen protector. And I would say it's a bargain to prevent your screen from future damage. First, we need to cut the screen protector to the size of the screen. Use any plastic card or a membership card or a credit card to apply the screen protector. Use the tape that comes with the new screen protector to seal the edge. Install the screen connector to the main board. Make sure the connector does not block the screen, otherwise you will see a shadow in your screen during the test. Make sure the connector is secure to the board. Insert the power cable for UV light. Screw the bottom cover back to the printer. Again, Test the new masking screen and make sure it's working functional before your new printing. The 
These are the test print from the new screen and new screen protector. The detail of the miniature are as what it used to be. I'm very happy with this purchase. I would say $40 for a new screen for repair is worthy. If you liked my video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.